When you need help, when you're out of options, and you need your voice heard, better call for. It's like the onus is completely on the homeowner to double check everything, even though everything's supposed to kind of protect you. That message from a Columbus man to other potential home buyers after a home inspection gone wrong. That could cost him thousands of dollars and what you need to know so it doesn't happen to you in tonight's Better Call 4. I moved here for work from Oklahoma. Uh, I moved to Oklahoma after I got out of the military. Victor LaPierre came to Columbus in May of 2020, living in an apartment until he bought his home on the northeast side in September of last year. I just I got tired of paying rent, paying somebody else's mortgage. I wanted to pay my own, you know, and make an investment. LaPierre worked with a real estate agent to find the home, who suggested he get a home inspection before closing, even offering up the name of one inspector in particular. On their website, they do provide more than one, like the law requires him, but that's the one he said, this is a great guy, I've used him before. Trusting his agent's advice, LaPierre hired him. And he said the roof was in good condition. I even asked him, why does it look wavy and like the shingles aren't sitting flat? And he said it was because it was so new that they hadn't had time to season through a summer heat yet. Turns out that's not exactly what was wrong with it. Because after he closed and moved in, LaPierre says a piece of the roof's flashing fell onto the deck. And so I you know, looked at it and went up on the roof to figure out what was going on and it found like seven or eight places that are so soft you almost fall through. LaPierre called his insurance company to check it out. And they said, well, well, they sent a person out and they checked it. And they said, well, there's a ton of damage, but you insured your inspection, said it was a one to three year old roof in good repair. That's what you insured, so we can't do this. This is existing damage. The total repair and everything wound up, it's going to cost about $15,000 to do. Confused, LaPierre tried to call the inspector. That's when I found out he wasn't licensed. And LaPierre says his real estate agent didn't know either. And how do you recommend someone that the law says has to be a, a licensed inspector? LaPierre says he took that newfound information to the Ohio Home Inspector Board, the Better Business Bureau, and the Ohio Attorney General's Office, who said he would have to sue. What happened next? Oh, then I contacted you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but even after he got in touch with Better Call 4, LaPierre was proactive, reaching back out to the real estate agency. And I asked them, can I get your point of contact information to pass on to you guys? And the very next day, they replied and said, hey, sorry it took so long, but we're going to get it fixed for you. Agreeing to cover the cost of LaPierre's roof repair. While he waits for final approval from the agency's insurance company, LaPierre has a warning for other potential home buyers. Don't trust anybody. I'm sorry to say that, but you have to double check, triple check everything. And if you don't know where to start when choosing a home inspector, the BBB does have some advice. Always do your research, even if the inspector is suggested to you. Look into their history, reviews, complaints, etc. Verify their training and experience and ask for proof of licensing and if they belong to any organizations, such as the American Society of Home Inspectors. I have a link to that and some other helpful information in this story on NBC4i.com.